Hello everyone, welcome to the control system theory. In this video, I am going to explain standard test signal. Standard test signal are the signal which are given to the control system as an input to analyze the response of the system. There are four types of test signal. First one is impulse signal, second one is step signal, third one is the ramp signal and parabolic signal. Now we discuss all the signal in detail. That is first impulse signal. Impulse represent sudden change in input. And impulse is infinite at t is equal to 0 and 0 everywhere else. That is denoted by delta of t. Here you can see that at t is equal to 0 that is infinite and denoted by delta of t. If its magnitude is 1, then it's called unit impulse and unit impulse is given by R of t is equal to delta of t is 1 when t is equal to 0 and is 0 when t is not equal to 0. Here you can see that when t is not equal to 0, that is 0 in frequency or S domain that is given by by taking Laplace transform Laplace of R of t is equal to Laplace of delta of t that is 1. Now we discuss step signal. Step input represent constant command and it's denoted by u of t. Here you can see that that is constant command which has magnitude a. We are taking constant magnitude a. And step signal is given by r of t is equal to u of t is equal to a when t is greater than or equal to 0. Where a is slope. Where a is slope. When t is less than 0, its value is 0. Here you can see that when t is greater than or equal to 0, its magnitude is a and when t is less than 0, its value is 0. In frequency domain or in s domain that is given by by taking Laplace transform, Laplace of r of t is equal to r of s is equal to a by s and if a is 1 is called unit step and given by r of s is equal to 1 by s. Now we are discussed ramp signal. Ramp input represent linearly increasing input command. Here you can see that that is ramp signal having slope a and it is given by r of t is equal to a t when t is greater than or equal to 0 where a is the slope and its value is 0 when t is less than 0. Now in S or frequency domain it is given by taking Laplace transform Laplace R of t is equal to R of s is equal to a by s square and if a is equal to 1 it is called a unit ramp and given by R of s is equal to 1 upon s square. Now we discuss parabolic input. Rate of change of velocity that is acceleration and acceleration is a function of parabolic. Its graph is like this that is parabolic signal. It is denoted by x of t and it is given by r of t is equal to x of t is equal to a by 2 t square when t is greater than or equal to 0. When time t is greater than or equal to 0 it's a by 2 t square where a is slope and at t less than 0 its value is 0. Now in frequency or s domain Laplace of r of t that is given by r of s is equal to a by 2 multiply by Laplace of t square is 2 by s cube 2 is cancel so that a upon s cube. If a is 1 then it's called unit parabolic. 
and given by r of s is equal to 1 upon s cube that is the standard t signal for control system now we discuss relation between t signal if we integrate impulse signal it gives step signal just an example if we integrate that is impulse and if we integrate this signal then it gives step signal if we integrate step signal it gives ramp signal if we integrate ramp signal it gives parabolic signal similarly by differentiate step signal it gives impulse by differentiate ramp signal it gives step and by differentiate parabolic signal it gives ramp i hope you have to understand very well if any query then write in comment section i will discuss in next video thank you very much